But how could such a thing happen? Literally. To answer that, we turn not to scripture, but to geology. The site at Shizer, uncovered by Nicholas Clapp's team, sits on top of a vast cast limestone formation. Cast landscapes are formed by the slow dissolution of soluble rock, usually limestone, by slightly acidic groundwater. Over centuries, this creates underground voids and caverns. Eventually, the sealing of one of these voids weakens. It can collapse suddenly, creating a sinkhole that swallows whatever is above it. Homes, roads, temples, cities. That's exactly what researchers believe happened at Chizer. Evidence shows that the centre of the site had collapsed, dragging down stone walls and structural supports. The main sinkhole, called the Well of Birds by locals, is over 30 metres deep and was likely larger in antiquity before infill. To a modern geologist, it's a caste collapse. To a 4000-year-old caravan traveller, it was divine punishment, proof of prophecy, the wrath of the sky. But that's only part of the story. The region is also one of the most wind-eroded deserts in the world. The Rub al-Khali, or empty quarter, sees near constant sand movement. Some dunes drift several metres per year. When Shizza's towers fell, the sand did the rest, burying what was left in silence. This double threat of geological collapse and aeolian burial explains how a place could physically vanish in a single generation and be forgotten in just a few more.